In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how to determine the midpoint of a line segment. Now, when I say a line segment, I mean a straight line like that. Let's say that this coordinate over here is coordinate A and this coordinate over here is coordinate B. Or we can call it coordinate number one, then this will be X1 and Y1 and coordinate two. This will be X2 and Y2. Now, in the middle of that line segment, exactly halfway between coordinate one and coordinate number two, we get what we call the midpoint. Let's call that M. Now, the midpoint over here is also a coordinate and it would be X, Y. Now, I'm going to teach you how to find out what that coordinate actually is of that line. What's also important to note, let's say I've got the line segment AB and the midpoint is M or whatever we want to call it. If M is the midpoint in the middle of the line, then AM is going to be equal to MB. So those distances will be equal. But how do we find the midpoint of a line segment? Well, this is the formula that we basically use to find the coordinate that is the midpoint. So how do I find the midpoint of a line segment? This is essentially the formula that we use. And this formula basically gets me the coordinate that would then be the midpoint. So this little half of this formula, x1, which would be that, plus x2, which would be that, divided by 2, that gets me this part of the midpoint coordinate. And then y1, which would be this, plus y2, which would be this, divided by 2, that would get me this part of the coordinate. So basically, it's helping me find a coordinate. So if I had to do this as an example, determine the coordinate of m if m is the midpoint of the line segment AB. So we write down our formula. And again, just like with the distance formula, it doesn't matter which coordinate is your number one and which one is your number two. Let's pretend A is my coordinate number one and B is my coordinate number two. To get the coordinates of M, I take X1, which is, remember this is X1 and this is Y1. This is X2 and this is Y2. So I take the X of coordinate one, which is two, plus the X of coordinate two, which is eight divide that by two. It's always going to be divided by two. Then I take the y of coordinate one, which is this value over here, number one, plus the y of coordinate two, which is this value over here, three, and I divide by two. It's always going to be divided by two. If I simplify that, eight plus two is 10 divided by two gives me five, and three plus one is four divided by two gives me two. So this coordinate over here, this midpoint would be five and two. Now, what about a question like this? This is a working backwards question. This is a more difficult question, but it is important that you are, are able to do this, both in grade 10, 11, and in grade 12. So this question says, determine the value of X and Y. As you can see, X is part of coordinate A and Y is part of coordinate B. If M is the midpoint, so we are giving you the midpoint of line segment joining A and B. If you want to see this visually, there we have points A and B, and in the middle of it, because it's a midpoint, would be M. And they tell me that M is 5 and 2. Now, this is my formula for midpoint that I copied and pasted over here. But I have been told, you have been told, the answer to midpoint. So it's almost like somebody already worked out this little fraction for you, and they got 5. Because can you see the midpoint, M, is 5 and 2. This is the x value of the midpoint. This is the y value of the midpoint. This fraction over here helped me get that value of 5. So this fraction, this one over here that I've circled, that calculates the x value of the midpoint. So we substituted in values for x1, x2, we divided it by 2, and our answer was 5. And in the same way, this fraction over here calculates the y value of the midpoint. So you sub in values for y1 and y2, you divide it by 2, and the answer is 2. So we need to work backwards to find out what this x is and what this y is. So like I said, we take out this part of the midpoint formula. Remember, my midpoint is 5 and 2. So 5 corresponds to this fraction. In other words, this fraction over here, x1 plus x2 divided by 2. The answer for that part of the midpoint coordinate is 5. They've given me the answer. Now we need to work backwards, sub in x1 and x2. So let's call a coordinate number 1 and b coordinate number 2. So x1 would then be this is the x value, this is the y value. So x1 
x1 would be x plus x2. Go to the second coordinate. This is x, this is y. x2 would be 8. We divide that by 2 and that gives me 5. Now all we need to do is some algebra, inverse operations. We're going to say what's the inverse of divide by 2? Multiply by 2. So we're going to go 5 multiplied by 2. That gives me 10. So I've got x plus 8 is equal to 10. And then I am adding 8, the opposite of plus 8. Inverse operation is minus 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. So x is 2. In other words, my coordinate for a, instead of writing x and 1, we now know that it is 2 and 1. Now we need to solve for y, okay? In order to solve for y, I'm going to use this part of the midpoint formula. And I know the answer. I know that the y part of the midpoint is 2. In other words, this fraction, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, must equal 2 because that is my midpoint. Then we substitute in y1. So we go to coordinate number 1 and we look at the y value. So number 1 plus y2, we go to the second coordinate, look at the y value, it's unknown, so we can leave it as y. If we divide that by 2, it should equal 2. Now we need to do inverse operations. Inverse of divide by 2 is times by 2, so we're going to have 2 times 2 on this side of the equation, which is 4, okay? Then over here we are adding 1, inverse operation of adding 1 is subtracting 1 from both sides, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So therefore, B, B was originally listed as 8 and Y. Now we therefore know that B is 8 and 3. Working backwards like that is not easy at all. I hope you've got it. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see down below. I will do more of these types of questions. Check out the rest of the playlist for more analytical geometry. Bye, everybody. Subscribe if you haven't yet.